Hello! In today's lesson, we are looking at Chapter 4, Section 4, Proving Triangles Are Congruent Using the ASA, which is Angle Side Angle, and AAS, which is Angle Angle Side Congruence Postulates. Our objectives are to prove that triangles are congruent using the ASA Congruence Postulate and the AAS Congruence Theorem. Postulate 21, Angle Side Angle ASA congruence postulate. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So think of this as a side sandwich, which is different from the angle sandwich we learned in the last chapter of side angle side or SAS. So this is a side sandwich. In this postulate, we are given that angle A is congruent to angle D because both of these have one arc and the the side of line segment AC is congruent to line segment DF because they have one tick mark and angle C which has two tick marks is congruent to angle F because it also has two tick marks. So in these two triangles I notice that I have an angle, a side between the two angles and another angle congruent to an angle, a side between the two angles, another angle. So I can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using the angle side angle congruence postulate. Theorem 4.5, angle angle side AAS congruence theorem. If two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the corresponding non-included side of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. In our case over here, if angle A is congruent to angle D, and we know they're congruent because they both have one arc, and angle C, which has two arcs, is congruent to angle F, which also has two arcs, and side of line segment BC is congruent to line segment EF. Notice that they are in the same position over here, so they're corresponding sides. Then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using the angle angle side congruence theorem because I have an angle and an angle and a side congruent to an angle, an angle, and a side that's not between the two angles. Example 1, developing proof. Is it possible to prove that the triangles are congruent? If so, state the postulate or theorem you would use. Explain your reasoning. When developing proofs, remember you need to have at least three pieces of information to prove that the triangles are congruent. If you don't have three pieces of information, whether it be three sides or two angles and a side or two sides and an angle, then you don't have enough information to prove that the triangles are congruent. The diagram shows that angle EGH, which is this angle here, and EGF, which is this angle over here, are right angles, so angle EGH is congruent to angle EGF. We also notice that this side length EG is shared by the two triangles, which means that the measure of this side is the same for triangle EGF as it is for triangle EGH. So line segment EG is congruent to line segment EG by the reflexive property of congruence. I only have one set of angles that are congruent and one side. I still need to find either another side that's congruent or another angle that's congruent. So this is not enough information to prove that the triangles are congruent. In example B, I notice that I have two sets of angles that are congruent. I have angle PRQ congruent to angle SQR. I also have angle PQR congruent to angle SRQ. I also see that this line segment QR is shared by the two triangles PQR and SRQ, which means that its measure is the same for both of the triangles. So I can say that line segment QR is congruent to line segment QR by the reflexive property of congruence. Since I have two pairs of corresponding angles and the one pair of the corresponding sides which are congruent, and I notice that I have the side in between the two angles for both of the triangles, then I can use the angle side angle congruence postulate to prove that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle SRQ. 
Example 2, proving triangles are congruent. We are given that line segment WY is parallel to line segment XC. This is important information because when I have parallel lines cut by a transversal, I can use angle relationships to prove that angles are either congruent or supplementary using alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, corresponding angles, or same side interior angles. I'm also given that angle Y is congruent to angle X. I need to prove that triangle W YZ is congruent to triangle ZXW. Plan for proof. You are given that angle Y is congruent to angle X. Use the fact that line segment WY is parallel to line segment XZ to identify a pair of congruent angles. So let's start by writing down what we're given. We're given that angle Y is congruent to angle X and line segment WY is congruent to line segment XZ. Since I have parallel lines, I can say that angle YWZ, which is this angle over here, is congruent to angle XZW, which is this angle over here, and that's using the alternate interior angles theorem. If you notice, that makes that letter Z over there. I also noticed that this line segment WZ is shared by the two triangles WYZ and ZXW. So I can say that line segment WZ is congruent to line segment WZ because I know that this measure is going to be the same for both triangles. I now have three pieces of information. I have two angles and a side. And I noticed that this side is not between the two congruent angles. So in this case, I can say that triangle WYZ is congruent to triangle ZXW using the angle angle side congruence theorem because I have an angle and an angle and a side congruent to an angle an angle and a side that's not between the two angles. All right checkpoint problem number one is yours. For this problem you are given that R is the midpoint of line segment QS. Remember what the midpoint does to a line. We also know that angle QRP is congruent to angle SRT and that angle Q and angle S are right angles. Prove that triangle QRP is congruent to triangle SRT. For this lesson, we will not be doing example three or checkpoint problem number two. All right, that's it from me. I will see you all soon.